The condition where a person's eyes appear to be popping out or protruding is known as proptosis or exophthalmos. This can be caused by several underlying conditions, each with different mechanisms. Here are some of the primary reasons why this happens. Thyroid eye disease, also known as Graves' ophthalmopathy, is the most common cause of proptosis. It is an autoimmune condition associated with hyperthyroidism, particularly Graves' disease. The immune system mistakenly attacks the tissues around the eyes, causing inflammation and swelling of the muscles and fat behind the eyeball. This pushes the eyes forward. Besides protruding eyes, symptoms can include redness, swelling, dryness, and double vision. Orbital tumors can push the eyeball forward, causing it to protrude. These tumors can be benign, which means non-cancerous, or malignant, which means cancerous, and can originate from various tissues in the orbit, such as muscles, nerves, and glands. Symptoms depend on the size and location of the tumor and may include vision changes, pain, and swelling. Orbital cellulitis is an infection of the tissues surrounding the eye, which can cause swelling and redness. The infection leads to inflammation and accumulation of pus in the orbit, pushing the eye forward. Symptoms include pain, redness, swelling, fever, and impaired eye movement. It is a medical emergency requiring prompt treatment. Trauma to the face or head can cause bleeding and swelling around the eye, leading to proptosis. Fractures of the orbital bones or bleeding behind the eyeball can push the eye outward. Depending on the extent of the injury, symptoms can include pain, bruising, vision changes, and difficulty moving the eye. Vascular disorders can also cause proptosis. One such condition is the carotid cavernous fistula. This is an abnormal connection between the carotid artery and the cavernous sinus, which is a large vein at the base of the skull. This can lead to increased blood flow and pressure in the veins around the eyes, causing proptosis. Another condition is orbital varices. These are abnormal enlarged veins in the orbit that can become distended, particularly when bending over or straining. This leads to intermittent proptosis. Inflammatory conditions can also lead to proptosis. One such condition is orbital pseudotumor. This rare inflammatory condition causes swelling and mass formation in the orbit without an actual tumor. The inflammation pushes the eye forward. Symptoms of this condition include pain, swelling, and vision changes, which are quite common. Let's talk about diagnosis and treatment. Diagnosis begins with a clinical examination. A thorough eye exam by an ophthalmologist is the first step. Imaging, such as CT scans or MRI, can help visualize the structures of the orbit and identify any abnormalities. Blood tests can be used to check for underlying conditions, such as thyroid function tests for Graves' disease. Now, for treatment. In the case of thyroid eye disease, treatment focuses on managing thyroid levels, reducing inflammation with medications like corticosteroids, and in severe cases, surgery. For orbital tumors, treatment may include surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy, depending on the type and location of the tumor. Orbital cellulitis requires prompt antibiotic treatment, often intravenously, and sometimes surgical drainage is necessary. When it comes to trauma, treatment depends on the specific injury, but may include surgical repair and medications to reduce swelling. Vascular disorders and inflammatory conditions have specific treatments that vary, including medications to manage blood flow or inflammation and surgery in some cases. Proptosis, or exophthalmos, where the eyes appear to be popping out, can result from a variety of conditions, including thyroid eye disease, orbital tumors, infections, trauma, vascular disorders, and inflammatory conditions. Accurate diagnosis and appropriate treatment are crucial for managing the underlying cause and alleviating symptoms. If you or someone you know experiences this condition, it's important to seek medical attention promptly to determine the cause and receive appropriate care.